We have this poll from Quinnipiac. This one's got people all hot and bothered. 2024 presidential race stays static in the face of major events. Quinnipiac University National Poll finds RFK Jr. receives 22% as independent candidate in three-way race. Now, the interesting thing here is that with the independent candidate, they say that Joe Biden wins. They say, uh, uh, well, let me, let me just pull up the actual uh, Quinnipiac here from uh, 538. They say, actually, it looks like if they include Cornell West, but Joe Biden gets 39%. Trump gets 36 and Kennedy gets 22. Now, a lot of people are responding, especially Trump supporters, being like, what's 22 percent Who that? Are you polling? Now, Quinnipiac also has this poll, including Cornell West. I love it. If Cornell West runs, apparently Trump still loses. OK, <laughs> wait, hold on a minute. I, I'm, I'm like, it, it's really funny when they put both of these metrics out at the same time. OK, so it's Biden, Trump, Kennedy on the ticket. Kennedy gets 22 percent. But if you add Cornell West, someone pulls one point away from Donald Trump. Are they implying Cornell West will take one percent of Trump's voters? Cornell West, he's, he's he's super far left, right? I mean, I just that's ridiculous. He's he's courting the same demographic as Trump, a hundred percent. Sure, I, that's just it's a ridiculous uh, idea that Trump would lose because of West and Kennedy. And when you look at all the other polls, take a look at this one. Redfield Wilton strategies, Kennedy, 10%. Trump wins 40 to 38. They have another poll showing it's 35 to 33 with Kennedy at 10%, probably because they might have Cornell West in there. You have this one from McLaughlin, Biden, 35, Trump, 38, Kennedy, 12, West, 2. McLaughlin also has Trump winning. All the other polls, at least uh, Abacus has a tie. So there's one poll showing Trump losing. I guess technically it's a Quinnipiac has two. And then Abacus showing a tie. And the other polls, we've got uh, one, two, I believe, three, four, uh, four other polls showing Trump wins with Kennedy on the uh, on the ballot. I, I don't know for sure, but I'm I'm definitely leaning towards I do not see Trump voters leaving. I'm talking about I'm not I'm talking about MAGA. I'm talking about moderate independent types. I don't see them being like, oh, vote for Kennedy instead of Trump. Some maybe, but it's mostly going to be Democrats who think Biden can't win. And that Biden is horrible. He's corrupt. He's a warmonger. And they're going to vote for, for for Kennedy. Yeah, I agree. I think I think Biden's doing all the work for him. So, you know, all the work for these other candidates right now in my district in Ohio. It's it's highly independent. And, you know, I, I see a huge swing for um, voters driving towards Trump just because of what he's standing for. And and the fact that he's getting attacked so terribly I mean, they're, they're, they're seeing the reality of politics right now. I yeah. heard a Biden speech from i guess four years ago and man he sounded clear like a normal guy and now when you listen to him it is freakish he is just tired it's exponential mm -hmm. yeah. the, you know it's like the the decline accelerates the older you get so it's a curve straight straight down I'm so concerned i'm torn because i'd like to meet him and help his help his brain a little bit because well, he is our commander but you can't help his brain either. just listen to him like let him kind of wake throat. himself up a little bit <laughs> well and it's gen degenerative right i mean that's the sad thing about yeah. dementia illnesses right like any kind of elderly atrophying it it's not reversible it's right? not coming back you can't there, I, i've seen thc consume amyloid plaque which is the cause of alzheimer's in a, in a microscope i'd have to continue to look for more data to back that up but i think I believe i've seen that also i hear psilocybin helps people in older age there might be in the future, but right now we have very little, if any way at all, to slow or stop these progressive degenerative diseases. And I think that's stem sad. cells right to the brain. Yeah, I mean, maybe there's something, and maybe if we're testing them, you know, experimental treatments, you know, give, uh, giving us an option in the VA, maybe you know, Biden okay. can get have a chance to try this out. But realistically, in the next year, he is not going to suddenly imp improve, considering we've seen a consistent decline in the last. So three years. if he walked into a chamber and it closed and it was like. <laughs> and he came out and he looked like 38 would you vote for him 